Hi, this is Brett. Welcome to the Beeline Bennett channel. For this video, I'm going to be going on a tour of all the closed school sites in Bartlesville. I decided to start it off at the last school I attended, which is actually still open. But it's Bartlesville High School, formerly known at one era in its history as College High School. This is the front entrance. As you can tell, above the middle door, I don't know how well you can see it, it says 1939, that's when the building was originally built. It's changed a lot since I attended school here, and over the years since it has been built, it's been expanded, added on to... When I was a student, I actually didn't really like how the building looked that much. I thought it was too institutional looking with all the white walls and the narrow dark windows, but it's better looking than it used to be, that's for sure. Well, I hope you all enjoy this video and it still fits in to the sightseeing theme that I'm going for with this channel. Because a lot of t owning cars involves going different places sightseeing. So let's go sightseeing to some other school sites now. over at what was once Oak Park Elementary School. It's been most recently used as a church, as a sign that it's for sale, <laughs> price to sell. This was one of the more isolated schools in town. It's located in a neighborhood on the far northwest side of town that's kind of off on its own. And it's also the most recently closed elementary school. If you look straight in the back, you can tell the old flagpole starting to tilt. Maybe you can see my car behind the sign. That's my 2001 Honda. Okay, I'm over at what was once Lincoln School. You can tell above the doors and above the window, above the door, there's a plaque that says 1914 Lincoln School. This is now private property, so. Let's take a look at the other side of the building. Well, I'm at the back side of what was once Lincoln School in Bartlesville. It is now the Service and Technology Corporation, 105 Southwest Penn. Again, this is the back side of the old school. Check that out. Someone drove their first generation Mustang to work. Looks pretty nice. So I'm over at the corner of 5th Street and Virginia Avenue in Bartlesville. This was the site of Douglas School, spelled D-O-U-G-L-A-S-S. -S. I don't think there's any of the original building left. Uh, Douglas was notable as the school for black students before desegregation. 
the first uh, black student at Bartlesville High after desegregation came from Douglas. Well, I'm over at the corner of 4th and Seminole in Bartlesville at what was once Washington School. At the top of the building, there's a marker that says 1930. The building is now part of Humble Road Church but it only looks like they're using a corner of the old facility. I'm going to draw your attention to the corner of what looks like the original building. You may see a little sign near the old gas meter that says pastor parking only. This is not too far from the Bartlesville Boys and Girls Club. And that's my Honda again over there in the corner. I'm over at the Tory Place Apartments in Bartlesville. It's the site of the former Jefferson Elementary School. The address for Jefferson was 314 South Choctaw. This is also notably near a Homeland grocery store. By the way, I'd like to Acknowledge the people who are working the Bartlesville Public Schools website. It actually had a lot of good information about the history of the schools and where to find them. Much better than a lot of districts. Also, Granger Metter, a former teacher at Bartlesville High. He has a video on the history of the district on YouTube that is pretty good in its own right. So yeah, nothing left of the old Jefferson School, though. I'm at the corner of Dewey Avenue and Adams Boulevard in downtown Bartlesville. I'm at the site of the now demolished Garfield School built in 1904. This plaque is basically all that's left. This is one of the more high-profile downtown intersections, though. Can't really tell too well because of the trees, but uh, yeah, there you can see it better. The Price Tower is a block away. Across the street is the downtown Bartlesville Public Library. And that's the community center. Like I said, traffic is kind of high right now. That's the community center. You can also see my Honda parked over there. Side of the Garfield School. I'm over at the former McKinley School at 16th Street and Keeler Avenue. Has plaques above the doors noting that it was built in 1924. It is now part of Victory Worship Center, apparently. I'm sure it was better than having no air conditioning, but those window units really do detract from the look of the old building.
Well, I'm not getting out of the car because my battery is very low and I have to keep it plugged in to get a charge to make a video. But I'm over at the, what is called the ESC, Education Service Center for the Bartlesville Public Schools. It's at the corner of 11th Street and Jennings Avenue. And this is also a former school. It was at one point Horace Mann Elementary, but it's been closed for a long time. So. Obviously, though, the district is still using this property. Okay, I'm over on 20th Street in Bartlesville, just south of Dewey Avenue, looking at the entrance to the former Southview School. You can see a little bit of the building way in the back. It's all private property now, I believe. Kind of covered up by vegetation. But... So believe it or not, I'm actually at another old school site in Bartlesville. I'm at the Quick Trip at the corner of Tuxedo Avenue and Washington Boulevard. It was the home to a school many years ago called Highland Park. In fact, behind the Quick Trip on the Tuxedo side is a little shopping center called Highland Park Square. Yep, this was once a school site. Now it's a busy business. I'm over at what was once Madison Middle School. Near where the sidewalk ends was right where the front entrance was back in the grass. The former structure has all been demolished. I drove my Mustang because that was the school mus mascot. The, that was the mascot, the Mustangs. Hmm. Over here by that sidewalk area was where the gym used to be. That building over there with the blue roof, that is Hoover Elementary School. Hoover was next door to Madison. And the building far off in the back, that is the former Sooner a high school and Bartlesville Mid High, which is now the school they call Madison Middle School. I'll have more about that later in the video. But the original Madison is all gone. I'm over at what was once Sooner High School from 1967 to 1982. This was Sooner High School, the town's second high school. Over there on the right, you can see a buffalo statue. That buffalo is named Sparty after the old school mascot, the Spartans. Then from 1982 until Madison, the old Madison closed, it was the Bartlesville Mid-High for grades 9 through 10. They had what they called a Mid-High, so.
I'm over at the Will Rogers Complex, the former Will Rogers Elementary School. The building now partially houses a private school called Paths to Independence. That's Paths to Independence. It's a private school. And it's my understanding the district still uses the building some for its technology department. But as a true elementary school, it's been closed since 1986, around 1986, even though the building is still used some by the district. That's my Mustang again. I'm over at what is now an Armstrong Bank and what used to be Limestone School. That's the car I drove. So you could tell they did not reuse any of the original structure when they built the bank to replace it. That building over there, I think that's the only school structure related to when it was a school campus on the property area. Limestone Elementary School, now a bank. If you look back in the distance, uh, that was where some of the old parking and driveway was to the school. But the building was right here. Here's another look at the old building left from when it was a school campus. Of all the old schools that are closed, this one probably had the most commercially viable location. Here is part of the old school parking lot and driveway behind the bank. You can tell by the broken up concrete it's been here a while. A fence over there looks like uh, former dumpster storage area and there's the bank again in the background where the school building used to be okay so I'm over at what is probably one of the most obscure old school sites in Bartlesville I'm not sure of the exact location, but it was between Oak and Maple on 11th Street. Most likely this field right here, I'm guessing, was a school that was called McCaleb, and then it was renamed Roosevelt. This school, for what it's worth, closed in 1930. So it's been gone a very long time. So you might be able to guess this is an old neighborhood in Bartlesville. There sure isn't any sign of the school anymore. If you go south on 11th Street, it kind of dead ends at this pedestrian bridge in the far back. Well, I'm over at what is called the Ritz Apartments now on Dewey Avenue between 10th and 11th Street. This is the site of the original high school, what they call the original high school, which was open from 1910 to 1926 and has since been demolished.
I want to give another thanks to the folks running the Bartlesville Public School website for all the useful district information that was available on it about the history. I didn't receive any individual assistance from any current employees on this project. Uh, the vast majority of the information I got on the history of the schools was taken from online sources. I want to thank everybody for watching the video. It's been an interesting journey. It's definitely been an interesting journey uh, revisiting all this old history. And if you're not from Bartlesville, I hope it inspires you to learn a little bit more about your own history of your own community. And if you are from Bartlesville or went to one of these schools, I definitely hope you enjoyed the video. So please click like and subscribe. Thank you. I hope this bank doesn't get robbed any or broken into anytime soon. I'll probably get questioned as a suspect.